Yes, everybody, you know what time it is. It's your boys Jack and Dave here once again giving our reactions to the different predictions from all the lovely creators around this Spurs community. Looking forward to what they have to say post-win against Newcastle. Newcastle maybe under a bit of pressure now since uh, they've now uh, been handed yet again another loss. You know, they bottled it against AC Milan, ended up actually uh, uh, being a bit of a surprise to me. I thought they would actually use, you know, that humbling that we gave them, you know, as a bit of motivation for that Champions League game. But sadly, you know, they couldn't use that as a lesson. But we're going to use our win as a lesson going into Forest Dave. And it's lumberjack time. Put on your best flannel. Put on your best... Maybe Santa hat to go with it. Not a bad, you know, a, you know, a company to go with a, a lumberjack outfit because we're going to be chopping down the forest and Steve Cooper. No, look, it's time to turn Steve Cooper into Steve Copperpipe. That'd be absolutely brilliant. Jack and Ange Posta, Go uh, Ange Posta Goldloo turns up. You know, that'd be absolutely brilliant. But look, you know, the forest needs to be taken care of. So time to get the wellies and the overalls on. Let's go, Jacko. Let's go indeed. And uh, we're going to start first with the Tron. Uh, see what sort of prophecy he has uh, for us this time around. <laughs> the Tron, let's see what he has to say. He always cracks me up. Let's go. Hey, this is Dermot, a.k.a. Dermot Tron from THFC Till I Die, the home of Tottenham, past, present, and an exciting future under Ange Postecoglou. We have to back it up with Forrest with a win on Friday. We, nothing else will do. We have to show that we're back now on the money with a good win on Sunday with Richie getting two goals. He needs to back it up, of course, against Forrest as well to prove that he can be consistently, he's the striker that we need for the rest of the season. Ben Davis, look, I'm not getting carried away after one good performance. He has had a couple of good performances this season, but he's never backed it up with another good performance. So he needs to back it up again on against Forrest and prove that he's worth there as a backup, at least in case we need him during the season. Look, Ange has been positive. He hasn't given up on his philosophy. He hasn't given up on his principles. I think it's the right way to go. And as I said, Tottenham will not lose this game. We will win 3-0. The prophet has spoken. Come on, you Spurs in Big Ange. We trust. <laughs> How did I predict that he would call himself the prophet, you know, ahead of this one? He's gone for a 3-0. Not a bad place to start, and uh, we'll see how that measures up against all the other predictions. Um, what are your thoughts maybe on... Uh, he had some nice things to say, actually, towards the end about uh, Ange and just sort of him sticking to his principles and how that's, you know, been a good thing for us. And, and also, as well, just sort of mention, uh, you know, that Spurs, you know, they need to carry on from, you know, a few good performances. For example, Ben Davies. No, look, Jack, it's it's very important we back it up this weekend. Or else, otherwise, it's just one win in isolation, you know. Um, look, Richarlison, he makes a good point. Despite not wanting him to play last week, you know, he's backing him to try and back it up this week, which is good. But also with Ben Davies, look, you know, I've, I've made no bones about it. He was absolutely brilliant last week. But the problem is with the guy is we've seen this before from him and then he hasn't been able to back it up. So, look, Postacoglu gave him some high praise today in the press conference. Let's see if we can back it up this week because, look, reality is we need them. So we just got to build a big, build on that momentous win against Newcastle and, and keep ploughing along because it's more important now than ever before, Jack, especially with uh, it's looking like only top four now will get Champions League this season with it originally being top five. So we have to win. We can't, be afford, we can't afford to be cut adrift. Can't afford to be cut adrift. Let's see who we have next after the Tron. See, I think it's Sean, I believe, uh, who's after him, and see how it's his, uh, you know, prediction measures up to uh, Dermatron's three nil. He's going to the game this weekend as well, Sean. So hopefully we can get the win. Let's see how optimistic he is. Yes, guys, how you doing? Sean Butler here from the Spurs Talk Show. This is my Nottingham Forest prediction. Look, Nottingham Forest are a good team at home. Very difficult team to break down. I know they're going through a bit of a bad run of form, similar to how Tottenham and Newcastle are struggling as well. Um, but I don't think we should sort of take our eye off the ball here. As much as everything clicked against Newcastle and we did end up decimating them, for us to have an easy night away at the city ground, everything needs to click as well. We need to have high possession, high octane that creates chances and that obviously we, make, we find a way to convert those chances. I think that we'll stick to something like the same team as we did against Newcastle. I'm expecting a bumpy night where Tottenham go 1-0 up, maybe a sunny first goal. Then I think Forrest might equalise, but ultimately I think Tottenham will pull away 3-1 winners with Richarlison continuing to get on the score sheet and surprising people to the upside. But like I say, not an easy night, but one that I'm going to. I'm going to the game. I'm looking forward to it. I think we will come away with the points, uh, but let's not... 
sort of rest on our laurels as a team and expect that because we got past Newcastle, we're going to get past Nottingham Forest. Different outfit, different entity, different set of challenges. But for me, 3-1 in the end. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs, Shawnee. Nice one. Have to disagree with you on, you know, Forest being a good outfit. I don't think they're a good outfit, actually. I think they're, in fact, one of the worst teams in the Premier League so far this season. And also Steve Cooper, I don't really rate, to be honest. The only thing that worries me about this game is that it's Friday night at the city ground, which I know is going to be a tough atmosphere. And with a tough atmosphere, it can make those players maybe rise their raise their levels, should I say, maybe a bit more than what they usually put out. But if this was you know, even a Saturday midday kickoff at Spurs, you know, at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, I'd be saying 4-0 or something like that because I really do not rate actually this uh, this Forest side. So I don't know about you, Dave. The only thing that worries me actually is just Friday night at the city ground. It's almost like Friday night at Selhurst Park or something like that where even if they're playing quite terribly, you, you know, you, it's going to be a tough atmosphere always to go into and it's always a passionate fan base. Like that movie, Friday Night Lights, absolutely <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> Uh, look, Jack, I can understand what you're saying, you know, in terms of Nottingham Forest. I do think they sort of failed to the, sort of live up to the hype that maybe was around them last season. But look, Forest is a tricky place to go. It was tricky for us underneath Antonio Conte. They also knocked us out of the cup underneath Antonio Conte. So on their day, they can turn up. And look, you would argue that maybe they're the sort of team that maybe... Um, what would I say, exploit our weaknesses, sort of big physical players, direct players that will run on the ball and stuff like that. Things we don't really like, things that can undo us. So it is a bit of a tricky game. Um, you know, a banana peel, if you if you want to call it. But look, you know, you, and you have to understand, you know, they've got Gibbs White, they've got a couple of uh, Brazilians and Argentinians in there lately who seem to be just running through players and unearthing shots out of nowhere. So they, 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 they will be a tricky outfit. However, it'll be a good test of our professionalism. It's a game we go to. We should win if we've got Champions League aspirations. I know people are going to say, no game, Nick, no game is easy. Okay, fine. But we, sh- we should go into this expecting to win. And it's just about Tottenham doing the right thing. I predict we probably will take the lead. The question is, is what do we do? Do we rest on the lowers or do we go and kill them off? Well, I think that's maybe what Sean is hoping for, that we don't rest on the lowers. We stay professional and we go and kill them off. There's something about them that could be slippery and could be tricky where they do just frustrate us and make the game um, harder than we expected. And also after the high of winning against Newcastle, Coming up against a team like Forest, it does require more concentration. You know, you have to sort of, you know, put yourself more into the game. And, you know, it maybe is harder to get up for. Uh, I would think that's kind of crazy, but maybe for certain players it is, you know, compared to the Newcastle game. So you can see how their levels might change, you know, for sure. You know, you might see some drop-offs. You're absolutely spot on. We, we've seen in years gone by how the attitude changes against the bigger clubs. We always seem up for it, but against the teams that we expect to beat, that intensity or that attitude, like you alluded to, is just not there. So yeah, I can agree has with every, that. Uh, every potential to be tricky. And just last thing on it, you know, we have to be wary. They did beat Aston Villa there, despite how good Aston Villa have been this season. That's a good so, point. That was a good performance from them. That, mm-hmm. That's true. I did watch that game. So there is something in them that, you know, can make you slip up for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but good one from Shawnee. And uh, we'll head on over to Spurs between the lines. Mia, see what she has to say. Good to have her back. Hopefully she's got full delusion this weekend, you know, predicting the win. That's what I'd love to see. Let's see what she has to say. Hi, this is Mia from Spurs between the lines. This is my prediction for Nottingham Forest versus Tottenham. So, I think that we probably do have enough to beat them. At home, they've been slightly better. But when you look at their results overall, they haven't actually been that good. I think we can take some confidence in the way that we played against Newcastle. I would hope to think that we'll play the same kind of way, um, that we will make sure that we're on the front foot and maybe get some goals early on, which I think will be very, really positive. Again, because I think that we lack confidence once we score one goal um, and don't tend to finish our dinner or go for the kill um, that seems to really cost us so um, I'm hoping that that isn't going to be the case Um, I'm hoping that we somehow get a couple of good early goals um, within that first half to give us that confidence and to hopefully go on and really smash them for this game so my score prediction will be 3-1 come on you Spurs Come on, you Spurs. Nice one, Mia. 3-1. Just, you know, giving the Forest one goal instead of uh, the clean sheet that the Dermatron predicted for us. 
I could see a 3-1, and uh, in our best sort of performance, we would, you know, ideally need to score first, I think, and uh, score early as well, like we have had a trend of. But um, again, you know, coming away from, you know, the home ground, you know, having to go to someone else's place and, you know, ask us to score early and uh, sort of dominate them from the get-go can be sometimes a tall order, but I do think they need to in order to, you know, establish control early on in the game. No, 100%, Jack. Um, also, you know, Forrest are going to swing balls into the box from left, right, and center, you know, so we'll have to be careful of that. And they do have some big men up there as well, and likes of Chris Wood and people like that. So, And that's one of our biggest weaknesses, is being able to defend sort of aerially. So, you know, I, I do think me is probably right there, like Shawnee was, where, look, potentially we might concede a goal. You know, they do have some big boys barreling into that box. But ultimately, like, like I've already said, Jack, it's just down to us... Um, you know, we're wanting to turn it on, you know, not resting on our laurels, not sitting there one nil, slowing the game down, tippy-tappy, five yards between us, because we will get caught. So, hopefully, look, Mia says it's a confidence issue. It could be a confidence issue or an arrogant issue, but hopefully it's eradicated by now. Hopefully they've learned their lessons, but time will tell. Yeah, time will tell indeed. Big up to Mia and big up to Spurs between the lines to check out her channel. We move on to Sunny Talk Spurs, and uh, I like that top, actually. I like the stripes, to be to be honest. It looks like a nice sort of Christmas kind of gift of maybe of some kind, maybe an early one. Big up to Sunny Talk Spurs. See what he has to say. <laughs> uh, big up, Sunny. Let's go. Sunny Talk Spurs here, and Dave and Jack, you want my prediction for the Nottingham Forest game. And oh, Friday night, under the lights at... The city ground, you know, my head says that we could struggle, but my heart says we're going to absolutely dominate, destroy, cut down those trees, as you said on the podcast. You know, we're going to be Robin Hood in Nottingham and steal those three points from Nottingham Forest. I think it's going to be a 2-0 win for Tottenham Hotspur, Richie to bag again and show that he is back on form after his surgery. Come on, you Spurs. A Richie goal prediction. That would be lovely to see. And, you know, we'll be uh, tearing down the forest, uh, Dave. Uh, like Robin Hood, we'll be stealing from the rich, giving back to the poor. But I guess in this case, we'll be stealing from the forest and giving back to the Spurs fans and give them uh, three points, which is exactly what Robin Hood is going to steal for us. So hoping for maybe a robbery. Maybe it's a Friday night robbery that uh, Tottenham might have. Look, it'd be absolutely brilliant if it was, Jack. We have to go up there and commit uh, commit some deforestation, whether we like it or not. But um, look, Sonny, Sonny also, you know, it's one of them I agree with him where my, my, my sort of head tells me it's going to be a difficult game, but my heart tells me we're going to go up there and absolutely wallop them. Let's wait and see. But, Jack, you were right when you said Robin Hood take from the rich and give to the poor. You know, Forest are rich. Let's not forget about that. They have an owner who spent a lot of money uh, last season, you know, and uh, he's financed them out of the championship into the Premier League and been able to consolidate them. So money ain't an issue. We're definitely uh, dead right on that, Jack. We might have to go and order a uh, Robin Hood costume for the watch along. Let's hope we refinance them back to the championship uh, with a big 3-0 win or a big 3-1 win of some sort. Big up to Sunny Talk Spurs. I hope the big rich comes through for us. But let's go to El Tel Cockerell, see what this man has to say. Must be, must be a team with the stripes today, and they must affect each other, El Tel and Sonny. You know, he's got the stripes on as well. Let's see what he has to say. But I like the colour coordination. Still Spurs colours, navy and white. Big, big up there, El Tel. Hi, Dave. Hi, Jack. Hi, everyone at the Irish Hotspur. This is uh, Jose El Tel Cockerell uh, from Talking Ball. Uh, with my prediction for Nottingham Forest versus Tottenham, which is taking place on Friday, December 15th. Um, yeah, it's still basking in the glory from our last game and our victory against Newcastle. Um, we saw our most complete perform performance. Um, and my belief is that, that when we go to Forest, we're going to be going in buoyant mood. Um, I watched the way Forest play. Forest are better at home than what they are away. However, with the way uh, now that we've got players back and the system that we can play, we look better with Romero there. We look more stronger defensively, and there seems to be more trust them going forward in the midfield. And with Saar being back, I'm going to take us to win three 0 away. Yeah, I'm going for a clean sheet. So come on, you Spurs. 
Nice one, El Tel Cockerell. A three nil performance. Who doesn't love that sort of uh, that sort of one? And uh, I think you're going to be joining Mr. Dermatron with a three nil prediction there. Um, I think he's in a lot of other people's boat and thinking that the Newcastle performance as well was one of the best performances of the season, if not the most complete performance of the season. And more and more when you think of it, it probably was because we did a lot of the things that maybe we had missing in other games, which was that clinical edge or, you know, pushing for the second sooner rather than later. Um, maybe a bit more just sort of, you know, complete, you know, kind of a defensive performance, not too many slip ups, I guess, towards the end when the game was already out of reach. But yeah, yeah um, let's hope that we can carry that on into this game. Yeah, look, I'm in an absolute buoyant mood like the boys off the back of the Newcastle game, but we also have to understand Newcastle are out on their feet. We've seen that when they played away everything during the week lost, you know, got hammered by us and then also ran out of steam against AC Milan as well there last night. So, you know, we, we do have to take into a fact that they are a team out on their feet. But also, you know, we had a brilliant performance against Man City. You think that late equaliser would have went on and made them want to destroy West Ham? But it didn't. We got caught. So... You know, this game will, will really tell us, you know, whether that mentality is starting to change or shift lightly or, or, or whether we just beat a Newcastle team out on their feet. Friday night will tell. Friday night will tell. Let's see what uh, the Perchy TV, uh, or sorry, what uh, uh, Perchy from uh, Football Heritage TV uh, has to tell us about Friday night against the Forest. Will we be uh, chopping them down? Let us know. Uh, let's go, Perchy. How's it going, Dave and Jack? This is the Perchy here from Football Heritage TV. Hope your boys are doing absolutely brilliant. You want a prediction today? Look, firstly, before we talk about the prediction, what a performance, by the way, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Spurs battered Newcastle four goals to one, and it could have been about 10-1. Um, I want exactly the same. Creativity, getting balls in the box, causing a problem to those Forest fullbacks or wingbacks, however they want to play it. Take full advantage of them and exploit them. Uh, Forest have won one game in 12. I'm expecting us to win it comfortably. I'm going Forest nil, Tottenham three. Uh, but look, I wouldn't be surprised if we win five or six. Let's really put them to the sword today. Show what this team are made of. Come on, you Spurs. And as always, guys, subscribe to these two wonderful guys. See you later, boys. Peace. Thank you, Perchy. Nice one, sir. Really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, what do you say to him, Dave? I mean, thoughts on his prediction there? First of all, very nice of him to tell people to subscribe. He's always at that. So big up. Make sure you share the love to, you know, um, uh, Football Heritage and everyone else that sends in videos for these predictions. Uh, but look, you know, he's right. You know, it was an excellent performance at, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. But one of our Achilles heels the last few years has been away from home. If we can lose to Ennis Mora away from home, we can lose to anybody. So, you know, away, away from home... Oh. Is it, you know, it's going to be a difficult night, but Forest are stronger at home than they are away from home. So if this was at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, I'd actually expect us to walk them. we done it last year. Richardson had his best game of the season uh, out on the right-hand side. I know you were there for that, Jacko. Uh, but look, you know, people are right. You know, we should go up there, expect, you know, put two or three by them. I do think Newcastle or, or Nottingham Forest will keep it a hell of a lot tighter in the back line than what Newcastle will. It would probably be frustrating but it's up to us to keep banging on the door jack uh, we never stop be relentless be relentless indeed and uh let's hope that richie can uh, continue a bit of housery and uh, as well as some decent performances he grabbed an assist i believe in his in our two nil uh away or two nil away win the first time and then in the, the home fixture of course he had a pretty decent game as well uh so let's hope that he uh you know keeps it up against the the forest and uh, we're gonna move I'm yeah yeah just quickly, someone like Pedro Porro, when we're talking about Forrest, you know, being a tighter unit, someone like Kim is going to be very, very important. We've seen the passing range, the crossing ability, the goal threat he carries. So we're going to need that crossing ability, that sort of passing no. range from him. He's going to be absolutely crucial in breaking these down, just like he was against Newcastle in the home game. Well, uh, yeah, just before I cut you off, Jacko, you're right. Let's move on, my man. Let's go and hear what Lee the Dorset Spur has to say. Hey everyone, Leader Dorset Spur back with another prediction. This ain't getting any easier, is it? Um, so after the weekend, having a great result against Newcastle, you would think going into a game against Nottingham Forest, who are languishing in the in the bottom area of the of the Premier League, that this could be a um, an easy easy win. <sighs> Dare we do that prediction? 
when we looked when we played against West Ham, I said, well, we were gonna we were gonna absolutely smash them, and look how that turned out. So I don't think I'm very good at this. <laughs> but listen, you got to keep the faith, and you've got to look at how your team's playing. And for me, I think this has got to be a banker, right? It's got to be. The Spursy days, the Dr. Tottenham times, they've got to be behind us, surely. So for me, going into this game, I'm full of confidence, if I'm honest. And I can't see anything other than a Tottenham win. So I'm going to go. I, I think we're going to smash someone at some point. So I'm going to go with a nice 4-0. Oh. Up the Spurs. Outdone Dermatron, and at first it sounded like Lee was going to sort of say that it was going to be maybe a close, narrow fought, you know, kind of win or or a result of some kind. And I'd kind of agree with that, to be fair, because it's not really a team that I expect us to absolutely put to the slaughter, but it is a team that I don't really rate much either. So if they don't show up on the evening, and if Spurs do, who knows? Maybe Lee could be right, and uh, we end up having, you know, a big night, but 4 0, I mean, that would give Steve Cooper the sack for certain. Look, uh, Darley, uh, it will certainly uh, put him knocking on the door, Jack, that's for sure. You know, he's on a bit of a, a ropey tenure at the minute, and that guy will have no problem sacking him either to bring in the next guy. You know, it's not like he's going to back him and clear out half the squad. So you're definitely right on that. But is it me or does Lee absolutely love it? Look at that little slight grin on his face during the whole video. Absolutely brilliant. You see what a win can do to a man. You know, he was cooking up a see. four nail in his head the whole time. He was trying to put <laughs> some reason, you know, behind maybe, to, you know, to be cautious and everything. But at the end, he just couldn't hold back that four nail. <laughs> If Dr. Tottenham do reappear, though, I'm going to blame Lee because he was the only one that's brought it up. So <laughs> hopefully it's not famous last words from Lee. But big up, Lee. Great prediction and keep smiling, my man. Let's move on and hear what Marlon from Southview Coys has to say. Big up, Marlon. And, By the way, yeah. Jack, bit of credit to him as well, right? Yeah, I was going to say I left him last for a reason. So Marlon, I apologize for putting you last. But the reason I did is because I think, if I do recall, you have been for the most part in the last four or five fixtures or so closest to being the most consistent or at least the most right and i believe almost all of them so i decided to leave you last as the last words because these last words might actually count because uh, what marlon predicts might actually come true uh, it seems to be so uh we'll see what he has to say big up marlon green big up marlon let's go hopefully it's a, a big win predicted jack that'd be lovely let's go hello dave jack it's marlon I'm so happy you were my prediction last game. So, how am I going to make you happy this week? I don't know. Great win against Newcastle. I predicted it. Um, I didn't see the four goals coming, but I didn't. But I did pre predict Richarlison be in the team. So, does Ange go to the same again? I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think he will. I think this might be the game for Johnson. I think this one's going to be a bit tougher than we thought. Uh, Forrest just changed formation at the weekend and went three at the back and they got a result against Wolves. So I've got a feeling they'll do the same again. But I think if they do that, I think Johnson and Son might get more joy out of that if they do. I think that formation might play into my hands a little bit. Um, so, again, I, I think it's going to be tough. I think it's Friday night at the City Ground. Um, so I'm probably going to go for... I'm going to go for a 1-0 win Spurs. Um, I think both teams don't like scoring goals. Yeah, I know we scored a four against Newcastle, but we're still finding it tough. We've been better away from home as well under Ange. Um, I think Wolves was a, the only dot that we can kind of go, Ugh, that was a bit tough. So I'm going to go for an away win. I think we'll win 1-0. Maybe 2-1 at a push. I think Nottingham Forest might take the lead and then we'll come back. Um, I don't think Richie will carry on his form, but I really hope he does. <laughs> Hopefully this will give him his confidence. Um, but yeah, there's so much riding on this. And yeah, to have Saar and Biss back in the middle. Ah, we did not realise how big, big a miss Saar would be. And I'm so glad he's back. It'll be interesting when Benson Core comes back to know actually would it be Benson Core with Saar or ben, or Biss with Saar. So yeah, look, it's look for Spurs right now. It's about getting over the line, getting to Jan. Well, not even getting to Jan, getting to February and doing it. I think this is a game that we must win because I think we've got a tougher game next week against Everton and the, the fact they're on form. But yeah, one 0 Spurs. Come on, you Spurs, big Ange. 
you know what you're doing and I love what you're doing, even with the losses, but come on you Spurs. Big up, Marlon. And uh, thank you for your prediction, uh, sir. We really do appreciate it. And it's the one that we'll end off on, a 2-1 or a 1-0, he says. And uh, I, to be honest, it's a very sensible one. I could see it being that sort of type of game. Uh, I have maybe some questions or concerns about maybe Johnson going into this one. I always feel like it, it can be a bit weird going up against your former team, especially only so recently after leaving them, his boyhood club, right, as well. You know, does he end up having a worldie or does he end up having a stinker? It's always kind of, I think, one or the other. Maybe there's some sort of ground in between that, but I sort of feel like it can be that way sometimes for guys coming up against their former sides. Um, I'd hope to see Richie score and continue on his good form and uh if marlon predicts that he won't uh that does concern me because marlon like i said has been right on a lot of things but dave what would you say to him and uh two and one one nil i mean it's pretty sensible it seems realistic yeah look the chances are it probably will be a tight game you know the premier league you know it's it's really sort of competitive this year but look when it comes to richie I sort of disagree, you know. I do think Richarlison will get one good chance. It's just whether he's as clinical as he was against Newcastle. Time will tell. But it's the sort of game where he will find uh, a space in the box, even though it be congested, um, to get that chance. So let's see what happens there. Look, Brendan Johnson going up, uh, you know, to the club where he came from, hasn't exactly set Tottenham alight. No better time to do it, you know, uh, at, at Nottingham Forest against the team you came from. Prove your point, you know, that you've you've took a step up in class. Let's see how we go. Look, with Basuma, I think, I think you know, look, I've been disappointed since he's returned to the side, if you want me to be brutally honest. Papa Matasar, I think, is the actual difference maker in that side because when we've had Basuma, not Papa Matasar, we still don't look like the same team. Papa Matasar, for me, is the bigger miss out in the middle. But Basuma better have a good game. If we do go 1-0 up, I don't want to see him slow it down. He went to do it against Newcastle for a, uh, a little period. He'd done it against West Ham. You know, we just uh, uh, we need him to, to get back to his absolute best uh, so he can become undroppable again. But let's go. We get the win. That's all that matters. Three points on the board. By hook, by crook, it doesn't matter how we do it. It can hit a bird and go in. I don't care. <laughs> we just need to win. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Everybody, leave your comments down below what your favorite prediction was. Please smash that like button on your way out. Please check out as well all the different creators' channels. It will be in the description and in the comments for everybody to look for. But we'll leave you there. Come on, you Spurs. Let's chop down the forest this Friday night, everybody. We'll be seeing you in the big ant we trust. We never stop. Never See you, everybody. Stop. Everywhere we go! Oh,